Nate and Henry here at Smoky Hills again, and uh, we got our sunglasses on inside, of course, <laughs> but for, there's a good reason for that. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the coast of sunglasses today, and Henry knows a lot about the sunglasses, so uh, we're going to start off talking about the lenses a little bit. And yeah. we, we both own Costas. Everybody that works here has a pair or two. I got three, um, and uh, there's, it, it, it's for good reason. They're a great Absolutely, brand. Nate. You know, uh, I've been wearing these sunglasses long before we were selling them in the store. I actually bought them from a competitor, uh, and uh, there's a reason for it. Um, I actually grew up doing a lot of ocean fishing and boy, you know, on the water it's tough conditions. So a pair of good sunglasses is really one of the most important things you can have on the boat with you, apart from your fishing gear, obviously, but it really makes for a better experience. So asking about lenses, there's a lot of questions on which lenses do I need. So essentially, Costa makes two lenses, a 400 series and a 580 series. Now the 580 series comes in a plastic and a glass, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. The difference between a 400 and a 580 is what kind of light it can filter. Now, all of Costa sunglasses, 100% polarized, 100% UV protection. So they do a lot more than what your standard glasses will do. Where the difference comes in, in the 580 series, so I have a pair of 400s here, and uh, the 400s are gonna be a glass lens. And they're pretty heavy duty. And then when you go to the 580 and either the plastic or the glass, that doesn't make any difference. What's going to happen is the 580 is going to filter yellow light a little bit better. Now that makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's probably going to be, I'm assuming that's your difference between that and you know, our $20 glasses that you Correct. buy off the rack. Yep. Uh, and most things struggle to filter uh, yellow light and also this will filter what they call a high energy blue light that's somewhere between a really light blue color and those two colors are traditionally really hard for lenses to get filtered. Now Costa has found a way to do that and do it efficiently on the 580 series. Now what's the difference between a 580 and a plastic lens and a glass lens? Realistically your plastic lens is going to be a more durable lens. It's not necessarily going to break if you drop it. Uh, it's also a lot lighter, so this is going to be for a little bit more rugged terrain. The advantage you have on a glass lens is going to be that the glass lens is the clearest lens you can get. There's less imperfections in a glass lens than what there would be in a plastic lens. Also, there's going to be less distortion. So if I buy a 580G, which one am I getting? What, what would that mean? The G and the P is sure. the glass? The G is the glass. Okay. And the P, or if there's nothing after the 580, that's going to be the plastic lens. You'll figure it out pretty quick by picking them up. The glass lens is a lot heavier than what the plastic lens is. And now if we go to the 400 series, like I said, in the 400s, those are all glass. So if I'm, I'm not buying these glasses for necessarily to go fishing, but what if I'm just buying a pair I want to go just for driving, I'm taking a trip to sure. Arizona and back. Which ones would I want? Absolutely. Now that's the next question. This is now we figured out which kind of lens I want. Obviously, your 400 is your less expensive lens, mm -hmm. where your 580P is going to be the mid range and your 580G is going to be your most expensive lens. If I'm going to be driving around, I just want casual glasses, the 400P is going to be better than any other sunglass that you've put on. But if you want to up your game, go to the 580Gs because you'll be able to protect them in a vehicle, obviously. You know, it's, it's kind of good all-around use. Next question, what color, right? Yeah. What color? So I'm um, taking a trip to Florida and I'm, sure. I'm gonna do some ocean fishing and going to South Africa where you grew up. Yeah. Um, I wanna do some ocean, ocean fishing. What's the maybe the glass, best glasses to see through the water? Okay, so pretty much all of the, the, the 400 and the 580s, they come in pretty much all colors. Some styles don't, but it's pretty wide. You can get almost any color lens with any finish in almost anyone so the first thing you got to look at is the actual color of the lens which you're going to see on the back so these are going to be more of an amber or a copper lens itself but the finish is going to be a blue finish whereas I go to this one I just want to show the difference so this is going to be a smoke lens and the coating is going to be a gray coating so there's two things to consider now really the glass itself it depends on what you prefer. If you prefer more of an amber lens, that's fine, go with the amber lens. If you want to prefer a smoke lens, go with a smoke lens. Costa gives us a pretty handy dandy chart here. 
it's the amount of bright light that you're bringing in. So it's going to start with your blue lenses and you see your ambush and your smokes are towards the bottom. So if I'm going to be out on the ocean, it's bright, or on the beach, my blue coating on a amber lens is probably going to be my best bet because that's going to be my brightest light. Sure. As I go down, a popular one is going to be this green lens because we fish more lakes. So what a lot of people say is you try to match the color of your lens to the conditions that you're in. So this green lens is going to be pretty popular. Both of these for fishing, these are going to probably going to be your two most popular fishing lenses if you want to try and sight fish. Now, for a guy like me, like tonight I got a tournament that we fish until 8.30 9 sure. o'clock at night. And what, which lens would probably and That's be a good question. You know what, then you can start to get into these amber and the smoke lenses. You can maybe get an amber lens with the blue coating if you want to. The biggest reason why you're going to get into these is because they're going to let a little bit more light through. So when it's 8.28 and I can still catch one more fish, I can probably see it in the water the, because it's still letting more light. Absolutely right. So obviously your yellow, your sunrise lens is not real popular because that's going to be for pretty much really low light conditions as in driving mm -hmm. at dusk, things like that. So we're going to be popular on that one is going to be this copper lens, sight fishing in various light conditions driving everyday activities, high contrast. High contrast meaning there's really bright stuff on dark backgrounds like fish yeah. on glaring water. That would be a good idea. And these are going to be low light. If I get into my smoke lens or the gray lens, that's actually the lens I wear. It's just what I prefer. It doesn't mean it's the best. It's really in the middle of the road. So this is going to be not quite as good for fishing, but it's going to be pretty good when there's overcast and I'm driving with it and I want true color reproduction. Because they're probably going to prevent you from squinting while you're driving. Exactly, exactly. Now, if I'm going to be out on the lake and I really know I'm going to hit the fishing hard and I want to see the bass in the shallows or try and see the crappies in the shallows, I'm going to try and come up here into one of these blue or green lenses. That's probably going to be the best thing for those. For the middle of the day. Type, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Sure. So, comes all coaster sunglasses come with this really nice it's a pretty heavy duty case uh, so you can protect your sunglasses and then they have a pretty good lineup of all different accessories and I know you wanted to see this one right yeah I wanted to see that one I, I noticed it kind of kind of sticks out the back and I was wondering the yeah why. so what makes this nice is that a lot of people you know when you wear the, the classic uh, uh, sunglass holders they lay right on your neck so what Costa did is they made these and they kind of spring loaded. So when I put these glasses on, it's not actually touching your neck no. there, and you're not. It's actually up not touching my neck. Yep, it's just my sunglasses are sitting right there. But if they do happen to fall off, they're gonna fall around my neck, or they're gonna sit around my neck. Also, when you take them down yet, you'll notice these little rubber. If you check right there, little rubber pieces. They really sit nice and tight around my neck. They don't move around much. Sure, sure. So this is definitely the kind of thing you want if you're going to be on a boat in rugged conditions, that kind of thing. They also make a couple of cool microfiber cloth cases. They have a nice cleaning kit that we stock and all the different accessories that come with these. So if I have a warranty issue with uh, Costas, is, is there a warranty? What Absolutely. Kind of, so so Costa offers a lifetime warranty, obviously on all defects and issues that come with the glass. You know, screw falls out, things like that. But then they're often more than just that. If you scratch your lenses, you can also have them replaced right at the factory for a fraction of the cost of buying a new pair. Sure, and I know these are handmade, so I'm assuming you send them in and they, they fix them by hand. Absolutely, you send them in. Uh, I believe these come out of Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they'll work on them right there and send them back to you. And, at, and you just bring them right back to Josh at Smoky Hills here and we take care of it? Absolutely. Okay. Unless you unless you get them in the lake, then the warranty has come by and you paid. So better better put one of these guys on <laughs> so yeah. you don't end up with that. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's the Costa Glasses. Now just remember, it's not just for the guys. They make an absolute full lineup uh, of ladies' glasses as well. And um, this happens to one of our cool 4th of July editions. Um, I kind of think it's cool colors on that uh, and uh, you can check out the whole collection we have a pretty good uh, different amount and they range in all kinds of different prices you know this pair here is 149 for a 580 lens it's going to be a great uh, great lens and then uh, 
Anything else you need to know, eh? Yeah, I guess uh, the only other thing would be if, if you don't have exactly what I want, would would be able to get that. Too. Absolutely. Come see Josh. Mm -hmm. He can order single pairs of sunglasses, and they're really good at that. So you can go to their website and go find what you want, or we'll come in and stop if you want a pair, and uh, we can order them up for you. Now, one of the things we always see, winter time, I can under you know state how important these are in the winter. I know it's summertime right now, it's gonna be bright, but you're gonna be using them all year round once you put a decent pair of sunglasses on. Well, that sounds great. If, uh, if anyone has any other questions, you can give us a call here at the store, send us a message on Facebook or YouTube, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.